ago, I went on to G Market and initially wanted to check out one product because I was running out and that was the Etude House AC Clinic Toner. I didn't want it to buy a new toner when I go to Malaysia next week because I'm actually traveling to Sabah. Oh, by the way, if you guys are in Sabah, do let me know. I'm trying to arrange a meetup but I'm not really sure if there will be a lot of people who will turn up to the meetup so if you're living in Sabah, do let me know on the comments down below I would love to meet all of you guys just chit chat with you guys and also get to know you guys going back to G Market I got one toner and ended up buying 8 lip products plus one that I bought from a department store yesterday so I bought 9 lip products and I shouldn't be buying so much but I have a good excuse I went through a bad breakup <laughs> two weeks ago and also I ran out of my lip products I have a lot of them but some of them expired some of them I literally ran out so I decided to buy new products just to try them out and you know use them for daily basis so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. The first one that I'm going to talk about is the most highly anticipated product that I ordered on G Market. And this is the Peripera Magic Glam Tint from their Frozen line. I got in color Anna number 2, I'm Happy Kristoff. I think the name is really cute and the color is so beautiful. This is very natural coral pink color. I have lip swatches for all the products in this video and as you guys can see the lip color, it blends really well with my natural lip color but make it look more corally but at the same time still look very natural. I love this product so much. I think the formula is just really beautiful, very moisturizing but at the same time it does not wear off so it stays on my lips for a good two to four hours which is very impressive for a glossy lip tint because usually glossy lip tint would stay on for one up to two hours but this one is very impressive. It, the formula is just phenomenal. I love this product so much and I'm definitely gonna try out their Lumi Pang because Hover Onni from Hover's Jelly said that Lumi Pang has exact same formula as this product. So I'm definitely gonna check that one out and also get the Elsa color. So yeah, this is really beautiful. I highly recommend. I feel like this is one of my uh, proudest purchases from G Market. Next, I have this Aritaum Style Pop Pudding Tint in number 1 Polka Pink. It is more moisturizing and it somehow lasts longer than the Benefit one. So I highly recommend this. And the packaging is so cute, you guys. It's pink. It looks kind of expensive, but actually this only costs $3. I feel like Aritaum has a lot of great lip products. I've tried many of their eyeshadows and lip tints, lipstick. And they're amazing. The next one is also from Aritaum and this is their Style Pop Juicy Tint in number 1 Cherry Rose. This is one of my favorite color tint from the entire Aritaum products line because despite the fact that this is very liquidy, the color stays on really long on my lips and it just gives you that natural rosy pink lips and I just love it especially in the morning when I feel like my lips look really pale I would just slap this one on and my lips would look super healthy the next two products are still from the same brand Aritao it's this ginger sugar tint balm from Aritao and it's a number one plain rose I've been really into rosy pink color lately so I got this and the color is just so beautiful you guys I just love it, it smells like candy too oh my god it smells so good this product reminds me a lot of the Maybelline baby lips but slightly better slightly more pigmented and they are a lot more buttery than the baby lips I am completely obsessed with this product and they're only two dollars on G Market I I'm obsessed with Aritaum products. They're very inexpensive once again and I'm always really happy whenever I purchase products from them because they are very pigmented and just last really long on my lips. I just love it, especially this one. This is my go-to everyday lazy um, lip balm. Especially if I want a little color on my lips, I would just slap this one on. I just almost dropped that by the way. <laughs> 
great product. I'm actually thinking of purchasing their lip scrub. So if you guys have tried that one, please do let me know if it's good or not because I really want to try them out. The next product is a repurchase. I finally got another one of this World Glam Coating Tint from Aritaum in color Soul. This color is almost the same as the Peripera Magic Glam Tint, uh, the one right here. It's just that this one is a lot more orange tone and this one is a lot more pinkish tone. But if you swatch them side by side, they're almost identical. So if you're looking for something more pinkish, I recommend you guys to check the Peripera Magic Glam, Magic Glam Tint in number 2. Or if you're looking for something more orange, definitely check the World Glam coating tint in color soul. The next one is this Dior Lip Glow. I saw my friend Angel actually wore this in her birthday dinner last year. It looked really nice on her. It enhanced her lip color, make it look more pinkish, and it just looked really beautiful on her. So I told myself to get this soon, and six months later, I finally got it because I didn't really want to buy a lip balm for $25 because it's really expensive and it's Dior so I was like you know what maybe I should just try it out because I've been wanting it for six months and I should totally get it but you know guys I kind of regret buying this because my lips are actually very pigmented so my outer part of my lips are very dark and my inner part of my lips are very, actually really light so when i apply this it enhanced both colors and it made it look like i wore really dark lip liner on the outer part of my lips and i just look really weird so every time i wear this i have to wear lip concealer and then i apply this but you know sometimes it's too much of a hassle so i don't know you guys i don't know if i like this one or not but i feel like this does kind of give you a slight pink tint but not too much if you don't really have pigmented lips this is definitely to go for try it out it will make your lips look really pink but still look very natural so yeah if you have pigmented lips you might want to give this one a second thought i don't think this stuff is worth it for 25 dollars because this is coming from someone who has a very pigmented lips so uh i don't know you guys i'm not really that impressed i wish we have a return policy here in indonesia because i would have returned this a week ago. The next product is this Etude House Dear My Wish Lips Talk and I got this in number PK003. I saw this in my lovely girl drama, the one crystal in it. Yeah, so I think I saw her wearing this lipstick so I was like, oh my god, that color looked really pretty on her so I'm definitely gonna try it out. And it looks like that. This is actually really bright fuchsia pink color. If you guys are looking for a really nice fuchsia pink uh, lipstick definitely check this out this is very very pigmented so try to like dab them first and then like you know blend the color out and then if you want to go more you can actually build the color this is one of the best um, lipstick formulation from a Tooth house that I've tried so far I like the fact that they're very glossy very pigmented and very creamy so it's really hard to find an opaque, semi-glossy, creamy lipstick these days from Korean brand. But Etude House finally did it and I'm actually really impressed with it. So highly, highly recommend. Lovely, lovely fuchsia pink color. Very bright. Definitely be careful with it. But it's just really a phenomenal lipstick from Etude House. I would definitely give credit for the team who actually made a formulation for this one because they're beautiful everything about this lipstick is beautiful next is a non-korean brand lipstick that i'm featuring in this video this is from l'oreal uh, and it's in number r401 i'm wearing this today on my lips i love it because this is like my lips but better color i haven't actually tried a lot of l'oreal lipstick before but i love this one because they're very moisturizing it doesn't actually feel like lipstick it feels more like lip balm so um i love it they're very pigmented glossy but still looking a little bit opaque i love it i highly recommend if you guys have very pigmented lips like me and you want something a higher coverage lipstick check this out i love it i love this product and 
um, just been obsessed with it. Okay, the last product that I'm gonna share with you guys today is this My Lip Tint Pack from Verisem. And this is in color Sexy Red. I have tried this product last week and I really like it. I will do a separate review on this one so I don't really want to talk too much about it. But this product is definitely a revolutionary product. A little bit on the gimmicky side but I still like it. So the concept is more like your um, peel off mask but for your lips and it also gives a little tint on your lips after you peel it off. I think it's genius. I love it because I'm a big lip product junkie and also this is very long lasting. I've tried eating oily food um, and you know go swimming and everything. The colors stay on. I don't know. I I think this is still a really genius product. I'm blown away by the formula and the pigmentation. Just everything about this product. The only thing I would like to point out, if you like to peel the dry part of your lips and you have a little like red dots or like red patches if you wear this this is going to enhance that that red patches is going to be a lot more redder than the other uh, red color around your lips after you try this so do be careful if you have those habits if you want to try this product out Okay, so that's it for my lip products haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to click subscribe down there. And I'll talk to you guys later. Annyeong! The next one I'm going to talk about is this ginger sugar. Oh my goodness.